Right now, as you watch this, 160 stars just vanished beyond an unreachable horizon. By the time this video ends, another 48,000 will be gone. This isn't just space. It's the greatest escape room ever built. Let's get one thing straight right now. The universe isn't just big. It's not merely vast or enormous or any of those other pathetic adjectives we throw around like confetti at a physicist's funeral. No, the universe is an actively hostile, aggressively expanding, thermodynamically suicidal monstrosity that's playing an elaborate cosmic joke on all of us. And the punchline? We're trapped inside it. Welcome to the greatest prison break story never told. The numbers that will break your brain. First, let's talk about our cage. Scientists call it the observable universe, which sounds comforting, like maybe there's more coffee in the break room. There isn't. Observable universe diameter, 93 billion light years. And yes, that's bigger than its 13.8 billion year age because space-time hates your intuition. Galaxies we can see, two trillion galaxies, each containing billions of stars that are actively dying while you watch this. Humanity's farthest message, the Voyager probes, currently approximately 22 light hours away. Expansion rate, 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Meaning for every 3.26 million light years, space stretches 73 kilometers faster every second. Earth's location, somewhere between who cares and why bother. Now here's the kicker, we're trapped. Like goldfish in a bowl, except the bowl is growing faster than we can swim, and the water might be leaking into other dimensions. Here's the first cosmic joke. That 93 billion light year figure. The universe is only 13.8 billion years old. So how the hell does that math work? Simple. Space itself is stretching like cheap taffy, carrying galaxies away from us faster than light can bridge the gap. The universe isn't just expanding. It's ghosting us on a cosmological scale. Not only is the universe stranger than we imagine, it is stranger than we can imagine. The great cosmic speed limit, and why it's bullshit. Light speed, the universe's ultimate you shall not pass. At 299,792 kilometers per second, it's fast enough to circle Earth 7.5 times in one second. But here's the kicker. The nearest star, Proxima Centauri, 4.24 light years away, 40 trillion kilometers. The Milky Way's width, 100,000 light years. Good luck crossing that. Andromeda Galaxy, our nearest neighbor, 2.5 million light years. But wait, it gets worse. Due to the universe's accelerating expansion, 97% of all galaxies are already permanently unreachable. Even at light speed, they're not just far away. Space itself is stretching like the waistband of sweatpants after Thanksgiving dinner, carrying them beyond an invisible horizon we can never cross. The eternal silence of these infinite spaces frightens me. Blaise Pascal. Wormholes, Einstein's bait and switch. The bad news first. Require exotic matter with negative energy density, which may not exist. Would collapse faster than a house of cards in a hurricane. Radiation feedback would turn you into a quantum smoothie. But wait. In 2022, physicists created pseudo-wormholes using quantum processors, simulated traversable wormholes via quantum entanglement. Prove the math could work if we discover negative energy essentially left a under-construction sign on space-time. The nightmare scenario. 200-year voyage means 10 generations born in metal tubes. Genetic bottlenecking would make us all cousins. Awkward family reunions. Mutiny risk higher than your last group project. The plot twist. New solutions emerging. One, artificial wombs, already working for mice embryos in space. Second, cryosleep trials where humans survive minus 196 degrees Celsius temperatures. Three, closed loop ecosystems that recycle 98% of waste. Alcabier Drive, from sci-fi to science. Maybe the deal breaker requires more energy than exists in the observable universe. Would vaporize everything at destination when stopping. Might tear a hole in space-time larger than your student debt. 
except NASA's EagleWorks lab has built interferometers to detect warp bubbles, reduced energy needs from Jupiter's mass to 500 kilograms, still impossible, but less impossible, discovered soliton configurations that don't kill passengers, probably. The Phoenix Factor. Why failed ideas matter. Every impossible barrier has fallen. 1. Heavier than air flight is impossible. 1901. Wright Brothers, 1903. 2. Moon travel is fantasy. 3030s. Apollo 11, 1969. 3. Quantum computing can't work. 1990s. Google's 53 qubit processor. 2019. Current long shot bets. Black hole slingshots using frame dragging effects. Neutrino propulsion could theoretically reach 99.9% .9 light speed. Holographic universe hacks. If we're in a simulation, find the cheat codes. So what's at the edge? Here are your terrible options. Scenario one, the infinite buffet, AKA the mathematical cop-out. Maybe the universe just never ends. No edge, no boundary, just an endless fractal of galaxies upon galaxies. Your brain rejects this because it smells like a mathematical cheat code when they couldn't solve the problem properly. Scenario two, the cosmic funhouse mirror. If the universe is curved, like Earth but in 4D, traveling straight might loop you back where you started, like Pac-Man hitting a screen edge. Except instead of ghosts, you're dodging entropy, and instead of power pellets, you get existential dread. Scenario three, the brutal truth. The Hubble volume. Here's the real kick in the warp core. There is no edge we can reach. The observable universe is all we'll ever know. Beyond, more universe, but its light will never reach us. It's the ultimate FOMO. There is a theory which states that if ever anyone discovers exactly what the universe is for and why it is here, it will instantly disappear and be replaced by something even more bizarre and inexplicable. Douglas Adams. The multiverse theory. Science or sci-fi? Yes, reaching Proxima Centauri B seems impossible today. But consider this. Breakthrough Starshot aims to send nanoprobes at 20% light speed within our lifetime. In 2016, we discovered Proxima B might have liquid water, the closest potentially habitable world. New propulsion concepts, nuclear pulse, antimatter, could cut travel time to just decades. The cruel joke? The star moves away at 21.7 kilometers per second. The beautiful counterpoint? Human ingenuity accelerates faster. While ancient alien civilizations may have risen and fallen, the cosmic timeline suggests Earth was late to the party. Most stars formed five plus billion years before our sun. But 95% of all stars are yet to be born. The universe is still in its infancy. Future civilizations may arise when the Milky Way collides with Andromeda in 4.5 billion years. We're not the cleanup crew. We might be the opening act for something greater. The heat death scenario is terrifying, but physicists have proposed astonishing loopholes. One, black hole civilization, Kardashev, type four. Advanced beings could harvest energy from rotating black holes for 10 to the hundredth power years. Two, false vacuum collapse. A quantum bubble could rewrite physics laws, creating a new universe. Three, quantum immortality. In the multiverse view, some version of consciousness always continues. While we see ghosts of dead galaxies, we've also discovered water vapor in exoplanet atmospheres, organic molecules in newborn star systems, galaxies forming unexpectedly early, suggesting we don't understand cosmic evolution. Every obituary the telescope captures comes with a birth announcement elsewhere. Why this matters. The universe gives us two gifts. One. The urgency to act now, before cosmic expansion locks away our future. Two, the proof that change is constant. Endings birth new beginnings. Yes, time is the ultimate predator. But humanity? We're the cleverest prey that ever evolved.
from cave paintings to quantum computers in just 40,000 years. Imagine what we might do with a billion more. Now for the juicy stuff. What if our universe is just one bubble in a froth of realities? Inflationary multiverse. Endless big bangs spawning new universes with different physics, some with no stars, some where gravity repels. String theory landscape. 10 to the power of 500 possible universes. A number so large, it's basically God trolling us. Simulation theory. If we're in a computer, the edge might be a loading screen one. Even if you could travel forever, here's your inevitable fate. 100 trillion years from now, all stars burn out. Only black holes remain, like cosmic vultures circling a corpse. 3.10 to the 100th power years later, even black holes evaporate. Now it's just nothing, forever. Quantum fluctuations. Maybe, maybe a new universe pops up from the void, but you're long gone. Why we can't stop looking? Because buried in the math is the real nightmare. We're not just stuck in space. We're stuck in time. The universe's best days are already behind it. 92% of galaxies are already ghosts. Their light will fade from view before we ever reach them. The edge isn't a place. It's a countdown clock and it's ticking toward absolute zero. We are like butterflies who flutter for a day and think it is forever. Carl Sagan. Break your brain. The edge of the universe isn't a wall. It's a funeral procession, a slow, cold march into darkness, and we're the idiots taking selfies on the way. Smash like if you'd still volunteer for a one-way trip to the void. Subscribe for more existential dread delivered fresh. Comment below. What do you think is beyond the edge? We promise not to judge your meltdown, 